Will the internet and fantasy football community lose their collective minds once this ascending third-year wide receiver breaks out thanks to newfound opportunity and arguably the best quarterback in the league throwing in the ball? The first thing that people want to point out about Gabe Davis is the fact that the people who are in on him this season are overreacting to his four touchdown playoff game against the Chiefs. What you should be looking at is the last six games, including the playoffs, where Davis ran around on 84.8% of dropbacks and averaged 19.8 fantasy points per game in full PPR. Manuel Sanders is gone, Cole Beasley is gone, and the second outside receiver role should be filled by Davis this season. He should run routes on at least 80 to 85 percent of routes, potentially more. The Bills made a concerted effort to get him on the field at the end of last season and then doubled down this offseason by not acquiring a bigger bodied wide receiver in free agency or the draft, as they opted to bring in Jameson Crowder and Khalil Shakir, both slot receiver profiles. While where Gabe Davis is going in drafts is certainly problematic to some people, I'm perfectly fine with drafting Davis where he goes as a big bet on the potential of the Buffalo offense. 